another episode of the Aggressive Passion Podcast. That was Joe. That that head clip. Just, just just do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> that was hype. Welcome to another episode of the Aggressive Passion Podcast. I am your host, Big Belly Casanova. Joined by my other host. Mike G's. Mike G's and Nicole. Just, or the other host. One, um, one nickname today? Just no one AKA. nickname today. Nah, I, I ain't got, I got no nickname. Nah, I could go on for days. I'm disappointed. I did with that. Like, mm-hmm. like Swipe said, I, you know, whenever I want to do it. Alright, okay. let's move All right. on. Mm-hmm. And we got a very special right. guest in the building, yo. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The man himself, Swipe. Appreciate it. Swipe. Don't forget the dollar sign. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. that. Happy to have you bring here, bro. Appreciate Thanks, you man. coming. I appreciate you. I appreciate you um, stepping into my world. Thank you for having me. No problem. No problem. Mm-hmm. You want to get right into it? Yeah. Let's go. All right. So your new song, uh, 1877 Parking Lot Pepper. Yeah. How did that collab come about? With, um, what's your name? Um, Zarya Linton. What's your name? Zarya Linton. Zarya Linton. How did that collab come about? Um, it was just like some organic shit. I had like, uh, I played the record to somebody and it was like, yo, like, I got this artist, I think it'd be good for the um, collaboration. Mars had sent me the beat. It was one of those records where it's the uh, producer I worked with named Mars Blackman. He sent me the, the beat and I was just like, I had it for a minute, but I sent it around to the homies and they was like, yo, I don't really think it's a crazy jump. Right. I don't really know. It wasn't really mixed yet. And I was like, yo, like, I think it's tripping. Like, this shit go hard. I was being this shit in the world for like a good two weeks. Yeah, like, right. was on some, on some other shit. And the other thing, a lot of things I do, like, I travel with my records, like they hear them in different places, but I also do different shit to them. You know what I'm saying? I might be working out, I might be just doing a whole bunch of other you shit. You just play the beat. So yeah. do you do the legendary contest? Yeah, you gotta do yeah. shit. You gotta do my, contest. My, my engineer just put me onto this. So the the, the uh, most three important places that the record gets played is in a club, in a club, in a car, and then I mean in the venue, of course. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. So like that, like um, one eight seven was just one of the things that uh, organically happened. Is, you know. We actually, I recorded the video, I mean, I recorded the song on Thursday, and then I shot the video on Sunday. That's tough, man. I was going to get right into the video. Yeah, the yeah, visuals yeah, was yeah. great. The visuals were fire. Yeah. So, like, you hands on with that type of stuff? The visuals? Yeah, I, I directed all my videos. I had a team. I collaborated on a team with that project, but. That's tough. Um, but that was like, I don't know if you paid, y'all paid attention to the video, like how close mm-hmm. y'all watched it, but if you watched the video, it's actually a two scene video on, at one scene and shit. And I shot that in Richard Allen project. What you mean a two scene video on one? If you watch it, you'll see what I'm talking about. So it's like, you watch, it's, it's two scenes, but it's a one scene video. So if you watch the video, the whole set is getting broken down while you're watching one scene. Uh, oh, because she was in yeah. front of, yeah, because she, uh, so she, so she starts off in the office. Right, behind that blue, uh, yeah. right in front of the blue scene. So when she leaves, it's actually a part, she's parking off him. So it's more so like a telemarketing type of situation. Mm-hmm. Where though, you mean she leaves up after that, it's popping her shit, got the vehicle, shit like that. That's yeah. tough, that's tough, I love you, man. Have you always been like that though? Just directing every video you ever did, or? Um, I look at I look at life from a, a visual perspective. Right. This my this my this my trick right here. Go like this. Everybody go like this. That's, <laughs> okay. that's how you direct the video. It's the camera. So oh, you look yeah. at that. Mm-hmm. Look at every action. That's how you direct the video. That's how I come up with my concepts. Hmm. Okay. Did you did you? What made you like? Did you think of that? Like what made you like? I would have never thought to just like go like this. Like your eyes, the camera. If you ever like when you wake up, there's different exposures. Like your your light, your eyes react to like different light Mm -hmm. exposures. If the sun's too warm, like me, I got four eyes. I wear glasses, so Mm -hmm. um, you know. But like like life is a camera, and your eyes a camera. If you look at it, you blink Mm -hmm. like the lens do. That's all the lens does. That's not putting too much on yourself though. You don't think you're overdoing Mm -hmm. it? You can just put that on your team to direct the video. You like having that. That creative, like that's the difference. Like, like I'm not like I'm a I rap really good because I'm from the East Coast, I'm Philadelphia. That's naturally installed in us. But you got me and not naturally because a lot of niggas can't rap. Right? <laughs> oh, at all, um, <laughs> at all. Artist, that's I'd rather be more hands on. When you more hands on, you're able to negotiate better deals and also bring in bigger bags. You know what I'm saying? So you don't really need to hire that many people. I mean, it's always better to have a stronger team and a better solid foundation. And, um, everybody has a job, like, you know what I'm saying? A mechanic fixes the car, I'm not gonna go change my own oil. I'm gonna go to the mechanic, but if I got a dope idea, I'm gonna execute it and move out on it. Bro, I still do the real thing. Mm. <laughs> and do you, en- and you enjoy it? Like, that yeah, like, this is, this is like, like, every job I had, I had for two weeks, because I love, mm-hmm. I love what I do. Mm-hmm. I get mm-hmm. sound, I breathe creativity, like, this year was like, but not even this this year to start. We like about to be like, about to be this uh 
that's how full fledged I'm in. But um, last year I was like, I learned a lot. Like um, even in being like being in school, like everything, like I don't know, like I feel like the business in this is something that I really like to do. Like I, and that's not like I just want to be like one of those those people who just want to um. Like making music is the ending point or like an age breaker thing. Yeah. Like I got bigger goals. Like mm. four areas I want. I can't really talk about everything I want to do. Or you know what I'm saying. That's something I would have to show you. But the four areas I want to cover as an artist is health, uh, lifestyle, fashion, and music. Mm. Mm. A lot of people just you know strictly want to do music and mm -hmm. you know staying in that, that that box. But it's not really. It's never been. Just when did you know that was your calling though? Like when did you know you wanted to do rap, like for the rest of your life type thing? You know what I mean? Now I've been making music for like a while. Like I did, I went to boarding school. I went to boarding Where? school. Yeah, I went to boarding school for veterans' children. It was Scotland. Um, did you say in Scotland? So Scotland? Like, <laughs> no, no, it's called it's called Scotland. It's oh, called, I thought you said. Oh, oh, I was about to say. In Scotland, yeah. I was about to say. Man, move the seats with it, like. Right. Right. <laughs> no, I, do, I do travel. I like to travel. That's something I get. But you went to boarding school? school? Yeah, I went to boarding school for two years, from sixth and seventh grade, and um, I was like rapping. Like it was like a big time. I used to like. We wasn't. It was like before the time, like, not even before the time, we wasn't able to have cell phones. It was like real cut off. It was like weird. Like, I've never been to jail and I'll never want to go to jail, but it was you like. imagine that's what it is. So it's like, like the closest thing had, to it. had to use proxies to get to certain sites. Like, we wasn't allowed to YouTube. So like, it wasn't fun. Oh, no, yeah. it was fun. It was the experience. Like, it was like really something that, like, like uh, for that, that period of time that I went, I'm glad that I went, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so it grew on you, huh? Yeah, but like, uh, that's when I started making music, like around that time. When I came home, I was like in high school and like, it's like, I don't want to tell that story. That's <laughs> yeah, when I came yeah, to yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, like being in boarding school or like having those limitations makes you that shit was even like more creative. College, yo. That shit Did was you, like would you, college. all right, so would you put your kids in, in boarding yeah. school? Yeah. Yeah. I would, I would send my, my kids to school in another country. Yeah. Yeah, I, I ain't got no right now. Maybe in like, like a year and a half, two years, but. <laughs> I feel that. I feel mm -hmm. that. Maybe like, yeah. Yeah, I heard school yeah. in, in like, uh, the UK is like a lot better. Mm -hmm. I heard that they like, they touch on, the, their teaching methods are a lot stronger. Yeah. Overseas and over here. Um, no. Like, you disagree? No, I, I disagree with that. Yeah. Education is like important. Yeah, I, I think it is important. I just think that in I don't America, know how school is in other countries. Though. Yeah, I was I was like watching the. It was like something on like uh. Are like you seeing that, that shirt like say because like you know I was slide? No. All right, it's cool. It's like a cat cougar. It's cool. Yeah, do like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. No. that's right. It's cool to bring this <laughs> cougar. No, I didn't actually get it on purpose, but. Mm -hmm. um, um, before we get into your fashion, because we definitely want to talk about that. Um, let's talk about your rap inspirations, bro. Rap inspiration, yeah. Like, real life. Who you grew up listening to? Damn, um, it's a variety of shit, man. Earth, Wind, and Fire, Ron, Ron Isley. Like when I was like good and I wasn't, I wasn't cutting up or doing like dumb, dumb shit, like dumb young boy shit. I would, when I wanted to go get my cuts, my dad would let me buy bootleg CD. So that was like really my, like that was my gateway to hip hop. I ain't really listen. They ain't really listening too much like hip hop. Like, yeah, my dad had the TVs and shit. Oh, you, in the didn't, car. you didn't grow up listening to hip hop. No, like I did. Like I was, you know, we had we went through line wire and shit like that. So the shit was right, accessible right, to us. Yeah. But I'm saying like the shit that they played in the crib was like strictly like more so like old school hip hop funk that type mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. But dad was a musician, so I was introduced to a lot of that shit, it's like natural instruments and uh, things of that sort. Oh, so it's so like, like my rap. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Um. Like as far as like the inspirations of like what I listen to is just more so that. But um like recently I've been like more so like just studying like hip hop and just like like the um the different roots of that shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like really really stepping into that world, like from the fucking the jewelry to the, the shit they was rapping about, why they was rapping about it and it's like what they stood for. I feel like a lot of niggas don't stand for nothing out there, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Or like really stand for something. Um, mm -hmm. Represent. I feel like I, I know how I represent too. I represent like the young customers, the fly women, like and you know, um young entrepreneurs and shit too. Like, like, like two years ago I had like um like a, like a label label meeting and shit, and he was like, "Yo, who's your direct consumer?" And I'm like, "Yo, like the fuck, I'm supposed to have a direct consumer like right. music. Like I know who I speak to. Like, I know what I'm yeah. saying my music. Like, yeah, but that was like oh, they were saying like who's your like, demographic? Like who you rapping to? Yeah, like it was it was just like and you like who's like, your direct consumer? And I was yeah. just like. I, ain't, I understand that, but now I understand, like, all right, I know who I speak for, and I know who I represent, and what I stand for, and shit like that. Mm -hmm. My inspiration is, like, as far as, like, the music, like, you know, coming up, though, it was more so it's, like, a lot of R&B, funk, 
So they did. So who's the king of R and B? King R and B, I am. Stop playing, bro. You gonna say you? I feel like all artists would say. I feel like a lot of artists. So what's R and B then? So what's R and B? Can I ask you that? Rhythm and blues. Rhythm and blues. What's R and B? I mean, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking the same. Like, we talking singers at this point, right? Uh, yeah, but like uh, I say, I say I'm the king of like all genres. It's like no, that's too heavy. I'm just gonna do what I do. <laughs> that's that's I don't heavy. ever wanna be the king of nothing. So <laughs> like, I just wanna wear my you. own crown, yo. Yeah. I just wanna wear my own crown. Like I don't yeah. ever wanna be the king of nothing. I just wanna be able to express myself and you know my own, my own creative platform to be able to pop my shit. Mm-hmm. I heard that. I heard that. I like all I like the detail in your your hoodie. Like I know when you put your hood on, you have something up here on your hood. Yeah, it's, 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 oh, it's a, the cougar. Yeah, it's yeah. a bootleg cougar logo, actually. Shout <laughs> out to my man Chase where he drew up in. Um yeah. So this is I don't know, I'm like big on that shit. Like got the camo shit. Like, yeah. Small and detail. It, it looks like it's like a detail. quality it's like yeah, good it's quality. Like a real soft hoodie. Yeah. That's like it's like mm-hmm. Well let's get right into that. When you start the brand. Uh, I started the brand. Uh, will be four years ago now. Today, um, I started today. That. Yeah, not, yeah. not today. Not, not. Oh, <laughs> not today. Today. It's it's the anniversary. Oh, the anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> the anniversary is like, <laughs> was the first time you told me you love me. Like yeah. <laughs> my shorty, she cursed me out about that shit all the time. Like yo, what's our anniversary? And then I occasionally smoke weed, so I forget shit sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna, we're not gonna blame it on that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Well, um, the um, brand, creative company started like four years ago, something I wanted to do. I was making a transition from um, being, working with a lot of other people and wanting to start my own establishment. I was like real passionate about it. I started like merchandising. Like when I did my first pop-up, um, I was away at school. I did my first pop-up. I sold like 50 pieces in like 30 minutes. And I was Sheesh, like, oh, shit. Good. And it's not that's strictly for merchandising. The merchandise is, is cause like people, like a lot of times I wear shit and they be like, yo, like, like where you get that from and shit like this. I'm like, yo, I might so man. Start making my own show. Like, you mean to start representing my own company, directing a lot of it was a lot of different projects I always had hands on, but I never really had nothing. I never really wanted my name to be attached to that. So right. the whole thing was I wanted my own establishment and it's like making that transition as an artist. I you don't want your name attached to like what? Like big brands? Like you talking like what? Nike oh, this this, this like period. Like do you would you rather have a establishment or be like, yo, this project was worked with, with swipe like it's two it's almost like two different other monsters, you know what I'm saying? Like um like Jay Z has Rockefeller, Wayne has cash money. Okay. Um these people have these things to represent them. It's like a cross brand. Um it's just like projects, like you know what I'm saying? Pepsi has like a gazillion like products and things of that sort. So there's an establishment yeah. that allows me to represent myself as an artist instead of me having a label to represent me. Mm-hmm. Or I understand. You know what I'm saying? Things of that sort. Was it tough for you to break away from the other brand or was it a lot easier because you're like, because you seem to be more like, uh, like self-sufficient. You seem to be more like, well, I'm, I'm going to take over this. I'm going to take over that. Was it a lot easier for you to just branch off from me? Like, you know what? F all of that, I'm about to do it, it myself. Just made, it just made more sense. I was, I was around people who, like, was a lot older than me. And, um, like, the streets really fucked with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was ready to get, not the person. Really the older, like, I was, like, I was fucking 19 using fake IDs performing 21 order clubs. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So it was, like, one of those type things where it's like, yo, like, wow, man. Yeah. Stand for something, stand on your own. I'm like, the streets really fucking with me on my, on my own. Like, whatever I, that's, that's one thing, like, like, me and my, like, I'm trying to get better at as an artist. It's under, not even as an artist, it's as a, a person. This goes for like all oh, y'all too. Just understanding your power, understanding your platform, and like understanding your capability of doing things. Cause we always underestimate that as humans. Yeah, you know that's, that's very so true. So like, like it's like fuck it. Like even right now, like my project, I'm like, damn, I could do whatever. Like if I wanted to, I could, I could package a project and be like, yo, this hoodie, I want to sell this for a bean. I want to sell this for two hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like not because. We would have said that price point, but it's like because I like people believe in me. Yeah, you know, like you have their product. Like people, right. don't, people right. like feel that when you listen to it, the emotion and shit like that. Like you, when you put on this shit, you might you be like, damn, like because when I put this shit on, I'll be like, oh shit, I'm in some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying like I wear my shit like for for a lot, like down to the bubbles up, my bubble jacket. That's like, what you should, should, that's what you like, should do. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that's, so that's like you should do. That's the type of time I'll be on. And I know this shit logos was like, you know, your whole not your whole branding, but like a big part of that. Yeah. So how you come about? My logo is me. If you look at it, 
The Fox, obviously, right? It's the Cougars. How they come about? Oh, the Cougars too? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm talking about, um, I know the Cougars too. Yeah, but. yeah. No, it's, it's an actual Cougar. Like, that's the animal. But, like, the inspiration be, it was just me. Like, you look at it, it's just me. I don't know how I came up with it. But don't you got the Fox logo too? No, it's a Cougar. That's what I'm telling you, bro. So, I don't know. Look closely. I'm about to show you right now so you can see. Let's see if I can find it. But, um, I just, how did it come about? I don't know, like, as far as, like, like picking, like, uh, like, this is right here. Oh, that's a cougar. Yes. I'm drunk. I'm thinking it's a fox. I'm drunk. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people. That's, that's why I just wanted to let you know. So, oh, yeah. so, that is tough. Yeah, like so it's just me. Yeah, like, you look at this is me. I just translated that into an animal. Mm -hmm. I don't, like I think that um like the uh, the cat family is like they they think fast and they got the smallest hearts. Like their heart is like the size of this, like our fist. For us. Sure. They they in the jungle they, they survive differently. Mm -hmm. They just survive all speed and thinking. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So how was it saying Mac wearing your brand, bro? I was fucked up by that. Honestly, I woke up. I woke up. If I'm not making sure I want to answer all these questions fully to uh, people to go like anything additional thing. Um, damn, like I was kind of fucked up by that shit. I had met Mac Miller uh, when I was away at school and oh, shit. Oh, you met him? Yeah, I was like, tough. I was up IUP and shit. Yo, that shit was weird as fuck. Yeah, I was leaving <laughs> class and shit. I was leaving class and I'm like a wild, crazy boy. Like, I don't got no pics. Like, if I want something, I go get that shit. Like, mm -hmm. so like, I saw a tour bus. I'm driving back to my apartment and shit. I'm in the wheel. No okay, cap. Like, I'm in my wheel. I'm driving back. And I see a tour bus. I pull up on the side of it. I say, yo, back on this job. Type shit, and they like, they like, they like, yeah. What How you did want? you know it was Max Bus? Yo, because like, they was no, talking about it, or no, yo, it was like, I go to, I went to school in a small ass town, the college in the small ass town, so you see a tour bus, like, you gonna see a tractor trailer more than you see a tour bus, you feel me? Yeah, so, yeah. I, I'm like, these niggas on the main road, they going towards the main. Like, I lived on the apartment that I had was on the main, the main strip, so I'm like, these niggas just got off the e-way type shit, like, right. So I already knew what type of time it was on, so I put it on the side, like, yo, yo, Mac on that job, and they was like, yo, like. <laughs> What you want? I was like, yo, I got some shit for him. And it's like, it's like that. And he was yeah. like, all right, follow us type shit. So they followed us. And Matt and True J, they, they didn't want to come on. Well, they was bitching because I had the tents and shit. So they, they didn't want to walk close. And shit. I rolled the window down. I was like, yo, come, come rap with me real quick. And I was like, I got the shit on me. Uh, blog gave me shit. I was like, yo, like, if y'all want to get some bitches from the school, y'all got to wear this shit. Like, it's the fly. <laughs> 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 hey, yo. That's how you yeah, sell it. Bro. That's, That's how, how you, you sell it. it. <laughs> And I was like, my last pack, that was before I read up. Like, I kind of fucked yeah. up the pack with that. I gave him like, all this fresh new shit. I could have given him some old shit. Like, he was boss, he was giving it to the security and everything, huh? Yeah, like, I was like, I was like, yo, I have a whole draw. I gave him, like, one of those, um, like, I gave it to him in a, like, a, like, a, like um, one of those, like, market freezers you get just for the day. Mm -hmm. You put the ice in the styrofoam cooler. Oh, all yeah, the yeah, coolers. So I gave him a whole styrofoam cooler clothes. Like, it was like, yeah, that's, like, a, that's like, a lot. That's a lot. Shout out to you. So I went to the show and shit. Them niggas had, what? Them niggas had their like own merch. Like, of course, I expected that, but I'm like, yeah, you should have rocked that shit. But that was like younger me. Like, I ain't knew shit. I was going to sell more years. So I'm just like, so he didn't wear that shit that night. So he stayed in contact, blah, blah, blah. Um, he always had his own brand. So I understood. Understood it. But, yeah. it, like, he said he fucked with the shit. So that's all I needed to hear for real, bro. I've been in a lot yeah. of situations like that where so I, I gave people merch. So, um, like, I knew he always wore the shit, but I never, I don't check, I don't check people's page like that. Like, other than, the stuff that I'm aligned with or like stuff that catches my interest. Like yeah. I'm big, I like Instagram, but I'm bigger on pen interest and shit like that. Like shit that I can uh, actually learn from or gain inspiration yeah. from reading different shit, shit like that. So um, three days before he passed away, recipes Mac Miller, um, I, I woke up, my phone was going crazy and Ben Baller actually posted the picture of him in his shirt. Oh, like, four days tough. before he checked, that shit was crazy. So he, uh, I gave him shit to him three uh, three years crazy. ago, and he was still wearing a shirt. That's crazy. Like, that, that shit was, but that yeah. shit was the quality of the product, and also like people really fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That shit was cool. Mm -hmm. That is tough. So mm -hmm. rest in peace, Mac Miller, man. Yeah, that is. That's crazy. Yeah, but I wish y'all was in the wheel with me, like when when they was walking up to the car. They really didn't want to come to the car. Like, <laughs> yeah, I would. I would be like, listen, like this, this. Like, I'm not like, used to this. Yeah, like, yeah, they didn't want to come to the bus. Yeah, 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 they didn't want to come to the bus. Yeah, right, right. No, no, no. You come up here, like that type shit. Like, so that shit was like cool. It was a cool experience for me, for real. That's tough. That's tough. Well, um. Yeah, what, what do you got coming up? I'm working on a lot, man. Um, working on a lot. I'm designing an electric car right now. 
Stop playing. Yo, come it's on, yo. Come nah, on. I like to say shit, yo, because when people say Elon Musk, Elon Musk. Fuck Elon. No, I fuck Elon. Oh, my bad. I ain't, gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. That's my like, like, put it on the track. Peter Jones, but no, um, I'm working on a lot. But what I'm mostly like excited about is this uh this new project I'm uh, finalizing. It's called the Blue Chip. I'm actually announcing the air. Like, this oh, oh, oh yeah. hold up, we got an exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that Swipe song. exclusive. Uh, it's called the Blue Tape. Um, what I mean by that is like everybody has an opinion as a human being. Every artist has their expression. Mm. So uh, when you go paint a new picture, um, use masking tape. Masking tape is blue. Blue is my favorite color. Um, it's my expression. It's a new picture. I'm talking about transition and things. It's a new sound. Mm, that's tough. Yeah, so that's, that's what I've been working on. I got a lot of other like products and things of that sort that like you I mean I'm excited for this year, but I don't, I don't really want. It. I read. Nah, don't spoil those. Yeah, you gave us the one exclusive. <laughs> we appreciate that. That's good enough. You want more pop ups and shit too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to go on a tour, yo. I actually, I'm like organizing that, finalizing that. Um, four city tour in the United States and then uh, three countries. Something mm. like that. If if you had any words for any young designers out there, what would it be? Young designers, um, yeah. This, I would just say for like everybody in my age bracket and everybody that's under me, I would just say like hustle, like fuck with, fuck with the the shit that um society attaches you, attaches you to or like mm -hmm. puts you in your mind. Like if you gotta get a job just to make a flip. Like if you want to grab something, you, know, you might want to be trying to develop a product. You might have to pay for it. Go go grab a little gig real quick. I mean, if you gotta quit it, quit it. Do whatever you know it saying? takes. Do whatever man. it takes. But also don't don't get too caught up in what society labels you as. When I say society, like. We got like people think because you gotta get a job, yo. You wanna go to school, you do this, or yo. I mean, I don't never stop shit from what you got going on for real. For real. If you got something you wanna do, just go ahead. Also, don't gotta be music, don't gotta be fashion, gotta be nothing. You might wanna write a book, like you might wanna develop a blender. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you might yeah. want to develop a new gas for like a vehicle to start running. So like, go get it. I just say go get it for real. For real. Do, do, do Elon Musk, yo. How am I, my man, yo? Y'all want to do some rare shit. Y'all yeah, electric like, car in the I'm, in the tunnel in, in California. I want to do some rare shit. Cut the audio out of this, but I just want to show y'all a new video. How about that? I ain't mad at it. Don't listen, nigga. I ain't mad at it. I'm going to listen to the listener party. Yeah, that's edible. I just want to show you. We're going to be at the listener party. That's dope. Yeah. We're about to cut the audio. So, that was tough. That was tough. Appreciate that. Um, appreciate that. So, yeah, right now we probably we just gonna get into just topics that's happening. Do you you stay in? Yeah, 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 you you yeah. stay in there? You be yo, what, you yo, be in the shade, shade room or what? No, no, not shade room. Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> you know, with the tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, differentiate was was real and was not. Yeah, yeah that's true. Everything is factual. Every, everything that you see is factual. It look good though, and people you know mm. people put it together smooth. Photoshop, all that type shit. Real smooth, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> what? We felt that. <laughs> <laughs> you like real smooth. Whatever. But it's just like, um, I, I think Instagram is, is cool. Instagram is a lot of information. It's like, I don't know. I just, you come across a lot of shit. It's hard for you not to like everything. Even the ads, the shit you search pop up and it aligns what's popping. Mm -hmm. so, nah, when that when that first started happening, like with, like with Google and stuff, like if, if I was like looking up like table, right? Yeah. If I was looking up table, like, Later on bulbs. in the day, like and a table would like pop up. Light bulbs everywhere I go. Like, yeah, I like, light I don't like that shit. Like, like I don't like more. how they be tracking everything. Like, that, <laughs> I'm no, I'm cool off of that. Like, <clears throat> that just goes to show you how how crazy like the internet is and, and technology. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's for the good and for the worse. It's, yeah. it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about social media, and I was just wondering, like, when it comes to like celebrities, is it like is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? Social media. Social like, media. Social media. Shit. Social media for me, like you, you. It's a platform that uh, look. It can be a good thing and a bad thing. Actually, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? It's like, and it's a, it's a it's it's one of those things that's addictive. So you gotta be yeah. some tolerance mm -hmm. as an artist, mm -hmm. it as a human being, because like. Um, that, that even represents what my brand stands for too, what my company stands for, the Cougars, is being like, because time is a concept. 
So you gotta be able to fall right on track because you can always be like so far ahead. But information moves fast too. Like you ever think about how like how much fucking pictures you see like when you scrolling up your joint reacting different shit. You might see like a fucking car crash. You might see a midget with a fat ass. And then you might see like multiple some hot like, 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 like it's like yeah, all these different yeah, emotions right, while right. you're scrolling and shit. Right. So it's like you like you reacting to a lot of shit. So social media can be a good thing and a bad thing. I say good because like. It was a time like we come from where we had to buy CDs, shit like that. You had to really mm-hmm. go out and get the product. Whereas though nowadays, like, oh, I like this. Let me let me buy this or yo, let me check this out. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't having a, a podcast. Like, you know what I'm saying? Started and you just like, like yeah. yeah. It was a cool yeah. idea and it was like you was able to move out on it. And it should not because of the internet, because you hustle on the internet. So it's a good and a bad thing. And then you got other people like, you know, it's just like it, opinions that don't ma- really matter and shit like that. Like, See, I don't yeah. like when the opinions that don't matter are the people that do Have things for the silliest voice, ways, too. but they like they like I don't. I, it's hard to explain, but like the people that like you know they in it for bad, like you know they in it to do silly shit, but yet. They still go far with it, and I'm like, can y'all not see like how mm-hmm. dumb this is? So like, uh, a thousand it's, likes it's, isn't a thousand dollars. Oh, like, well, mm-hmm. no, I'm I'm saying like the people that's like, I don't know, like if, if you've been watching like uh, World Stars, like a guy named Long Neck, oh, like this little skinny white kid <laughs> right. with a long neck. Um, but he's like doing a lot of dumb shit, and I'm just like, I just don't understand how he yeah, made it like so far. Year, it's, like, it's like that. It's though. always it's one person. It's, it's, the le- like, it's the leverage, though. Like, salute to them, though. You can't get. I'm not. No, no, no I'm not. I'm not. I'm just like, how, who's paying attention? Like, why? Are, why are they paying so much attention yeah, to that? Right, like, right. I, but I mean, look, Tyson's. I can't. I you got can't the 50 even. Tyson's, you got yeah. Uh, fucking yeah. Fifty Tyson. You got the eight Tyson. You got the patches. Like, you got a lot. Yeah. You be like, that's the big. You be like, yo. That's what I was wondering, like. We have all these people on Instagram who have like millions and millions of followers, and it's like they're like Instagram famous. What do you do? You can get walkthroughs for clubs. Oh, oh, right, shit. but are you do, do, you this, you think, do, <laughs> do you think that affects like people who are actually talented? You know what I mean? Like we have like Instagram girls that are like, making a lot of money just for doing like walkthroughs yeah. like that. But do you think that that, ha- that has any effect on people who like actually have a talent, like people who can actually sing? So you think that like, who can so actually- do you think that creates traffic, like traffic for people to, you know what I'm saying, pop? Or do you think it's like instant, uh, what do you say, uh, gentrification type of thing? I don't know if that makes sense. Like, like are you saying like- Like does that like, make sense? So like, do you think that, do you think that the bullshit blocks the real shit, or do you think that it's one of those things that is like, oh, it's it's, it's this fast, like you know? What I'm saying? No, it definitely, yeah. it definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. blocks the real shit because there's so much bullshit. Any chick have a fat ass, or right. you know what I mean? I want to be yeah. right? whatever. Yeah. Everybody can't say and have a real talent, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not sounding mm-hmm. like nothing. Yeah. Although I feel like that you gotta define what's real talent nowadays, like because it's like a lot, it's a lot of shit. It's, I think it's, even with the music shit, like it's like subgenres, and then it's like pop culture and then it's entertainment you know what I'm saying cause mm-hmm. you got a little shit but the best part about it is you can you direct to your fans that's right. the best part about yeah, it yeah I yeah. think I think mm-hmm. that's why it was made like I was I was listening to another podcast where the guy who created Twitter was saying the reason why he did was that like you know you could watch a game and, and look down at your phone and see how somebody else experienced that same you right. know basketball game mm-hmm. like it's, that's what I think the beauty in social media is supposed to be is that such as i just had a baby i need to check in they live all the way in idaho right. and i'm all the way over here in philly like i could check in and oh they just had a baby they just took pictures the baby's walking stuff like that is what i think it was made for social media Damn, i have not taken a break on social media bro to be honest right. you what? i didn't have to be on these got like 12 posts i got yeah, three Mike, bro i know mike don't post shit bro like right Right. Shout out to you for even being able to do that because right. I'm like, I can't. I'm, I'm well, like, you stay on Yo, how often yeah. do y'all take pictures like, of y'all food before y'all eat it? Never. I'm not, I don't take pictures. Well, I'm, but I cook a lot though. You be amazing. You stay taking jabs at somebody. I no, no, no. I do. No, I, I so listen. I, I do. I so the thing is, like, I cook a lot, and I'm like, oh damn, like this shit look real good. Like, Just answer the question. He said, yeah, I post a lot. Oh, yeah, right? oh. God damn, swipe. I post a lot, See, man. Like, uh, I post a lot. And ain't nobody answering. Just count your wins. Here, one from three. Like, yeah, you know, I cook a lot, so you know, I gotta patient, you know. Yeah, I feel that. Post a lot too. I'm like, I'm. 
I bust down as soon as I get done. Like, I might take the pics of like the, uh, the prep before the meal, like the peppers. Mm-hmm. Cut yeah, 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 yeah. When you bust down time, like, I don't it's know. It's time to go. Gonna, nah, I, I don't, I don't take pictures of my food, like, when it's on the plate. Right. Yeah. I take pictures of me, like, like if I'm cooking, I might record a video of, the, like, the pot. Like, oh, shit, I'm about to get into right. it. But then after that, like, that's it. <laughs> like, you don't see the end result because I'm fucking it up. The like, streets fuck with your meals, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. I get a lot of it. <laughs> we got oh, yeah. We got to have, like, a cook-off. You want to do a cook-off? We can do a cook-off. We can do a cook-off. We're going to the summertime, though. I'm going to pour the grills out on it. Yo, we do AP cookouts, bro. All right, you can well, come listen, through. Throw a steak through. on the grill. We can do that. I might not even do steak, though. You know what I mean? Oh, what like, you I'm doing? Like, Uh-oh. I'm like half pescatarian. I'm going to do like a stuffed salmon. Yeah. I just started yeah, that journey. Shit? Yeah, I just started that journey. What? Nah, pescatarian. Um, no, it's I, a lifestyle. I, I get my body what it want, though. You feel me? Like, yeah. I, like, I might bust down, I mean, slight jerk chicken real quick sometimes. Like, man. Fam, I had to start eating bacon. chicken. I had to start eating chicken. Because the thing is, like, I did it for like three <laughs> weeks. <laughs> I did it for three weeks. And then, like, week two was when, like, I started getting these crazy headaches. Don't suck your teeth. I forgot to hear. I heard that. Yeah, you know, you I started getting these wild head. headaches. And I'm just like, fam, I got to eat, like, food, food. Because, like, I would, I would do, like, like berries and like peanuts and shit like that. And I'm like, like somebody was just like, why are you doing that, yo? You a right. big nigga, dog. Like, you, you can't, you can't be well, eating like- Well, it's to eat berries and peanuts. Nah, I know, like, like I'm over here eating, eating like a deer, like. Chicken. <laughs> chicken. <laughs> chicken. Oh, <laughs> yo, I went to Jamaica like, like, like three weeks ago, yo, and when I landed, I'm like, y'all got bust down on the oxtails, like. And that's when I really I started messing up dog for, for, like, I was like street fist but now I got back I'm like yo like I'm just gonna get my body what it want like but I'm yeah. still eating clean like I always eat clean like you know what I'm saying? As you should as you should for, for, I put like diet Pepsi in the Hennessy, you know? Kevin, I'm <laughs> 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 Oh shit! Oh, fuck girl. Yeah. oh, oh man, it's Mike, what we got? What topic? Like, what we got, Mike? We got the game talking about Kim K, man. You hear that? Yeah, in every know. album, apparently, right? Wait, in every song? No, in every album, he, he has. Is, a, I feel like that's like disrespecting Kim K. Oh, right? he obsessed. Yeah, I feel like that's something about like certain artists use different strategies to bring in different shit. Like some artists use Twitter. They might start subtweeting different people to tie to tie them in when they about to drop something. Mm-hmm. Some artists be on yeah. shit like a like game was always somebody who, who name dropped. Like it was like times where though that was good. I feel like before social media, that was like one of the, the things like oh shit, like you hit me the career, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it was a time like like remember what and get far. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean that was like a good time. That's when he was able to do it. But now it's just like yo, cause like I mean like I feel like I ain't, I feel like listen man. It don't really matter how I feel like. No, I feel it, it does matter. Too, yes. But I feel like. I mean, here's the thing. Everybody's got to say or something. I had to say it. I had to say it. Because, you know, when shit, some shit that's your business, you got to watch it. You mean? But game is like. like I don't know. I feel like. Cloud chasing, kind of, yeah, cloud chasing. Like we would say, he a little older, like, you mean? He just trying to appeal to a demographic. Whereas I feel like he said something more rare if he was like, yeah. Like I pour, I pour a holly berry cornflakes. Then niggas would be like, "Oh shit!" Like you, yeah. you pour holly, you, you fuck with holly berry, and you pour the cornflakes. Like what happened before you pour the cornflakes? But, <laughs> but like Kim K, like everybody be tagging, or like that's what these niggas uh, be saying. Uh, yeah, so who should Yay be more mad at? It. My question: Who should Yay be more mad at? The Can he even be mad at that though? That his girl is around like that? Or? I feel like Yay, like he, he, he. he He's uh he already made a song about it. He said how he felt already. Yeah. About pump. He uh, already said that. Oh yeah, oh, well, yeah, he did. Yeah, I just feel like Kim Kardashian, she leave that girl alone. Yeah. Leave her you feel like she ain't bothering nobody? She. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Spike just pulled a fortune cookie. That's not even about to dog down on this. Go ahead, read the fortune. It said flattery will go far tonight. Oh. Hey, man. Oh, oh. Hey, look, that's your fortune, fam. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Fortune, fortune of the day. Fortune of the day from Swipe. Flattery will go far tonight. Flattery will go far tonight. Flattery will go far, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna bust down on the cookie, but it was funny. I'm gonna say that for later. Shout out to you for later. <laughs> no, you could work. Take your tops in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> um. So is is uh is it just for clout? 
think so. Just for clout? I think it's just for clout. No? Game is corny, man. Yeah, I think it's just for clout. Yeah. I. Poor thing, you got nothing else to talk about. Yeah, I just think like, Yeah, like, I just like, think it's yeah. That's a certain point, though. Like, you shouldn't be like exact, though. Like, a lot of people just, just like just boss up, like do something else. Like, yeah, your custom blue riders, like really get bet. I don't know. I guess. That's, yeah, that's but me. yeah. Like, if I was in, if I was in, like I speak from like if I was in those shoes, I'll just like. There's so many investments right. that you, in, in the elsewhere that you really? can be making yeah. to that point, and you like, still worried about yeah. like you know. You have to know bullshit. when, like, like when when it's when it's time to. Y'all saw the meme up. that it was like yo. Uh, if you want to tell your man stop rapping, tell him to get the CBL and shit. What's up? Have you seen me? I'm feeling guilty. You gotta check yourself sometimes. Real shit. I know y'all see too many like that. Yeah, <laughs> Nobody like yo, man, you know what I heard? Like, like truck drivers really make a lot of yo, money, right. dog. Like, <laughs> some means you make you like, some, some means you make you check yourself. Like, damn, like yo, that's true. Or some shit be this a bit. We from Philly. Oh, you from Philly? Yeah. yeah. yeah we nah, I'm from Nebraska, bro. Nebraska. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Ever been in Nebraska? Nah, I'm trying to go to Nebraska. Would I go there? Yeah. Why would yeah. you go to Nebraska? I don't know. Go anywhere. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. No, no, no. The college, the college, Nebraska University. I like that logo. That's the only reason why probably I probably don't like they, they college though. Nah, probably not. Like, but they go? logo is is fire though, cause right. it's so basic. <clears throat> That's why I would go. She got the average. Nebraska, she got That's your top three? Got the average. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. You used You're to right rip and dip in advocates. Oh yeah. my god. I was like on the other side, I was on Ubik, yo. I ain't gonna hold you. I kinda missed like the advocates way for for I was like I, was, was the I, was, I used to shop there, but I ain't never like part. I was like younger like I think the uh, the owners came was that they were at, like at a difference. Uh, they didn't. They all they all wanted different things for the store. And it was just like, all right, well, that's that. And uh, just recently, they just had like an anniversary drop. Yeah, with the teeth. Them yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I should have grabbed one, but mm, but yeah, it. yeah. It was like a point in time, like where is it like that? I don't know. I was like like big on that like on the Philly. I always think about that. That's why I had to hop, I had to hop back on my wave like so I, yeah. I was like shopping at like like Zara and Urban and shit. Man, I can't, shit. Yeah. But I had to hop really back on my vintage shit. Like, yeah, I was always like on it. Boys. But I was just like damn like <laughs> I gotta really hop back on like you mean? It's yeah. Just, other than my shit I felt like I was like, yo, I need to get back in. Like, I can't fuck with, with Zara and, and, and Cinema and all of that. I can't fuck with the big boys. I don't fuck with big boys, dog. No, they don't. They don't know my size, dude. That's not for me. I got to go to eBay, XXL, whatever. <laughs> you know? Bitch, it's starting to Steve, Steve Harvey suits. <laughs> wow. if you, if you had, if I said, yo, we, I need you to fly. You got to fly out, yo. We're going to BT Gospel Awards. What would you wear? What would I wear to the BT Gospel Awards? I would wear a. Uh, I would wear like, you know, like the Keith Sweat John. I would Keith wear like a, uh, like a, like the regular Keith slacks. Sweat, yeah, regular yeah, slacks with it. No, regular yeah. slacks with a uh, turtleneck, long sleeve, bro. Black, black, bro. all black, bro. with the chain over it, like yeah. 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 the chain over you. By the yeah. boom, yeah. you keep the sports jacket over your shoulder. Some bullshit. Some bullshit. I'm look like I'm going to church. Oh man, Tony Adams, dog. Come on, yo. Stacey Adams, Mike, come exactly. on, dog. <laughs> I don't even know what my first award fit gonna be. I feel like, I feel like, yo, I fuck around through like the cool girl and boy dicky suit, yo, bro, rap. It's your first awards? Mm -hmm. Dicky suit? Dicky suit? Of course. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at that. I can see forces, it. But I'm gonna get Deborah Dan to do my forces. Like, I'm gonna do some whole other basic wild shit. Like, this mm -hmm. dude, like, left field. Like, fuck this thing y'all wrong. Shout out to Gucci <laughs> for giving him the bag. Yeah, shout, shout out to them. I don't really even fuck with them. If I fuck with the, the, the no, I ain't gonna say that. I feel like the, like these past two years, three years, like like high fashion is like me, like they cross over the streetwear, so like they've yeah. been like more receptive and making more creative pieces. But I feel like a lot of people like wear wear a lot of that shit, so they get like watered down. Like if I'm gonna bust down, like go get some like some high fashion designer shit. I'm going like grab some crazy ass old school like MCM shit or Supreme is dead. No, oh, fucking Supreme. They drop too consistently to be dead. This is like they, they. they I mean, like to you, moves. to your, to to oh, your, to your Supreme. likings. I got Supreme hats, hoodies, fucking pants and shit. I actually, I was on Melrose. I wore I, I finesse this white boy out of some. I mean, giving Supreme pants for a dub. I had just like dropped the, <laughs> I dropped the bag at round two, and I was like, yo, what you about to go sell it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the camel pants. And I was like, yo, I got a dub on me for them, John, and I got them. It was some Stone Island collab, John. 
They like go back to juice. I got them oh, like tough. in the club. So I fuck with some friends. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, that's tough. tough. I, I, real, I, I can't yeah, I, I can't get with the whole like I feel like no, I with nah I feel like I feel like the streetwear scene especially in Philly has is not where I wanted it to be right growing up and then like just just thinking about like Supreme period is just like I don't know like I just don't I feel like so a what, lot of, I feel what, like they what brands is you, is you fucking with is y'all fucking with I'm yeah what you, what you fucking with Kim Oh, no, Brie, I don't do, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real at like a thrift store. Knows, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I feel like, I feel like <laughs> I got a wider selection, but a smaller selection. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, yeah. y'all like like certain shit. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah, I feel like y'all, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all go shopping y'all a little bust bit. Down that target if y'all, y'all go to yeah. Fashion, yeah. fashion Nova be popping for y'all. I never shop on Fashion Nova, but I've seen some things online. Listen, I ain't going to hold you, man. Look, you about to get your Fashion Nova sweatshirt. Can I be honest with y'all? Like, I was looking for some cargo pants because oh, I had man. just bought. I just bought this shirt, and I'm like, yo, cargo pants yeah. will go like well, so well with this. And I was like, I couldn't find it. No, no way. I couldn't find no good cargo pants. And I went to Fashion Nova, man. Did they, they, had size? they had it. And I was looking at it, and I'm like, if I wear them pants, I'm going to be a fuckboy. But at the same time, like, <laughs> they got them. So so look, would you get those same pants from uh Postal? No. So Why? you what? I w- I don't know. If they, if they had them there, I would wear them. So if, if it was call, cheaper, if, if it was cheaper at Air Postal. If I call Postal right now and I said, "Yo, sponsor my man." Like, would you be down oh, for Oh, that's it? the bag. It's the bag. Oh yeah, that's the yeah. bag. Right. Oh yeah. So this is close every Thursday. Oh yeah, that's the bag. Would you? What you got tag the brand. Would you? Would you? Listen. Question. Right. Question. You know, you know my, job, my job is to to not create a wave. But to make shit cool, cause I like it. That's my mm-hmm. only job as an artist and as a human being. Like, especially even y'all. Like, yeah, for sure. Shit. Oh yeah, you for sure. I will. For I will sure. shop anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. If they have something, but I have something that to luxury, get it. Man, I yeah. feel like. So do you? You can shop anywhere. If you like see something you like, and get and it. it. Grab something fire for however many yeah. dollars. Yeah, like y'all feel like times change though. I'm, I'm cause back when we was in high school, like when we was in high school, when we was in high school, brands ruled. Like and that's that's the truth. Like when we was in high school, it was like if I remember I came into school with with low top uh, Jordan eights, and I was the man until somebody pulled my pant legs up and was like, "Yo, they low tops." You remember that, bro? <laughs> they was like, "Yo, they lows." Like he, he a fraud, yo. I'm just like, you had a full over hoodie on with that. Though. Yeah, I had. To, I was at was at Abacus, bro. I caught, I caught the Abacus hoodie with the with the low top eights, and I came high school, in. Like high school fashion for me, like I was a, I was heavy vintage boy, and like I was yeah. like like. I was like shooting vids and like all people my vids is like shout out to everybody who used to grab beer for me and stuff. People still do grab beer for me, but you mm-hmm. know what I'm as far as that. But I used to grab starter jackets for half a man at thirty dollars. That was mm-hmm. putting you no cap, three hundred dollars, mm-hmm. and that's why I pay for my videos. But I would only wear shit once. I'm still like that to this day. Like I only really like to wear shit once in videos. I like just period. Like, I don't really Oh, only in videos? Like, only in videos, if you wear it once, that's, like, you can't be seen in it no more. Oh, like, I still, I, I mean, like, I still, like, there might be some sneaks that I like that I might might wear. But I'm like a young boy, like, I'll get some sneaks, I want to wear those sneaks. I got fucking 30 pairs of sneaks or 40 mm-hmm. pairs of sneaks and want to wear those sneaks. Yeah, like, I mean, the minute you buy it, you like, I'm, I'm about to fuck it up. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, I'm hard with putting shit on ice, unless it's some shit, like, if I make some, like, I made this hoodie like probably like two weeks ago. Like, it's probably I'm like I'm gonna wear some shit today, like some cool shit. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. like fuck it, I'm gonna bust this show up, man. But yeah, who y'all go yeah. to guy in fashion right now? Who y'all looking up to? That's what I'm looking up to. Like, what you mean by that? Designers or inspiration? If you like, yo, he throwing that shit on. That like, shit do, do you mean like design? Like the people that's designing it, or like or the people that's it? wearing it? Who my go to in fashion? Mm-hmm. Kim, who's your go to in fashion? Mm-hmm. I would say. um I like June Ambrose. She dresses. She's a um, stylist. Oh, is she? Yeah. Okay. She's um, she's pretty dope. Just her? Um, yeah, probably just her. Ah, uh, no. Mm. I like Joe Fresh Goods. I can't think of anybody else that I'm really like. I like Joe Fresh Goods. I like uh, I like the movies. I, I watch the movies. Like, I might watch Kill Bill. And I was like, yo, that's a nice turn. Getting inspiration from that. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, that's, 
I ain't really like, I don't be like, yo, Virgil do that shit on her. Like, yeah. I don't be like yeah. that. I'm, like, I'm, a, I'm a designer within myself. Y'all designers, when you do it, yeah, y'all clothes on every day, you know what I'm saying? It's an yeah, expression yeah. of yourself, so I don't know. For me, it's like, it started from what I look good in. I look good in a lot of shit, so I don't know. <laughs> you might see me in a dicky one day, and I might be in tux, and I might be in some, some sweatpants. Mm-hmm. Like, Very versatile. Really, yeah. That's good. That's, yeah. that's tough. That's tough. For like, I don't really three? get dressed anymore. Like that. I went to Primark and wore a whole bunch of sweatsuits, and that's just what I've been wearing every oh, day. Shit. Sweatsuits. Yeah, we cool, cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for real. Like you get no. And they're quality too. They're pretty warm. You was about to say what's that top? What three? I was about to say products you use every day. I saw, products. I see you had the lush. Yeah. Yes. All right. So. Yo, put me on game. What, what's this? Man? Nah, no, nah, listen. Is... Don't put Mike on game, dog. Cause I tried what? to tell him about taking care of his skin. Yeah, niggas, and he's trying to play it. You need to take care of your skin. I take care of my head. skin. Sea salt. Ocean salt. Ocean, Ocean salt, salt from lush. That's, that's, that's the blue shit. The blue rocks in the vodka infused. But then, like, I used it today. It and then, before that, and when then, the last time you used it? Maybe like three days ago. Yo, like, I don't do it every day. Yeah, like the thing where it's though, like, you go to that store and, like, if you're not consistent with it, like, you gotta go, like, every every week or, like, you every do. two weeks. Depending Absolutely. On how you Absolutely. Yeah. I've been on this Dr. Bronner shit, though. Like, I was heavy Lush Boy the summer, so I like Lush. The reason I like Lush is because, like, they got a lot of different products where, though, they, you mean, they're beneficial to you for knowing exactly what you want, but also. Yeah, I need a sponsor for this. I'm not. Yo, <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Kim, what's your, what's your three products that you use every day? That's a really good question. Um, yeah, that is a good question. I use um, the good soap from Whole Foods. Don't gotta be. Don't got Don't got this be. Uh, skincare. It could be like. It could be a blender. It could be. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Mm. With, with the, I, I got tough. that question when he asked it. Though. Yeah. Cocoa I'm butter on top. That. That's my job. Yeah. Cocoa butter. But, yeah. yeah. Mm. No. You gotta get into the coconut said, oil, cuz. Coconut oil. oil. I, I need a bear oil. oil. Remember that fucking cocoa butter you said? Fucking when niggas was young boys, the joint you get from the hair store and shit. Yeah. Your mom get from the hair store. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 they probably had like 2% cocoa butter. Yeah, that shit was a cocoa butter type shit. So, what's your top three? My top three? I say iPhone. Oh, my nigga. <laughs> Gas, that's my that's my tools, hand. Like. My heat. Um. <laughs> shit. I wasn't prepared. I didn't know. I didn't know why you asked the question. I was going to say. I was going to say. Shit. Uh, fucking um. Shit. Damn. I was MacBook. Shit. My MacBook, man. My MacBook. I'm sorry. Right, look, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna start with electronic. Of course, I'm gonna say my MacBook. I'm gonna say this Dr. Bronner's peppermint soup I've been using mm. as far as lifestyle health. And I'm gonna say, shit, I got this uh, this 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 mug, this coffee mug with my name on it. I like to drink green tea, all that shit. Mm. So that's my top three products I use every day. Mm-hmm. Kim, let me get your top three. Um, I would say I make this, I guess it's not a product if I made it, but I made this, I make this olive oil and um, Raw sugar, sugar. Yeah, I use it on my face and my body. It makes you glow. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say um, my favorite water to drink is, um, do you, I can't think of the name, but it's a, um, alkaline. alkaline water from Whole Foods and it comes like in a cardboard box. It is so good. And mm, probably uh, my Lush soap, Angel on Bare Skin. Mm-hmm. My- Mike says soap water. <laughs> soap water. <laughs> um, Mike said toothpaste. Exactly. Yeah, he's like, like, like simple shit in life. Yeah, he's like very simple. simple. He's a guy. very simple like, guy. Three Instagram posts <laughs> a year. I don't like that. I mean, it's not That's my, right. Uh, it ain't not like Fortnite. You like Fortnite? No, no, no. Uh, uh, I don't want to PlayStation. No, I mean 2K. 2K all day. Uh, 2K. Uh, 2K. All day. 2K all day. I think with me, I, uh, I have one. I've been using my MacBook a lot. Mm. I my actually my actually my my phone. I've been using my MacBook for editing, but for my phone, I've been trying to push our brand you got, everywhere. You got the MacBook. You got the iPad. Yo, it's, it iPad. gets it's it's out of control. But I think for the most part, I use my phone a lot. Yeah. Um, I've been using the, this uh black black belly um Blood. polish oil. 
What on your beard? I'm gonna use it on my fish and on my on, on top. I, I got the mm -hmm. sunroof coming, dog. Like that's right. You better shit, get on it, oh, fam. Yeah. This shit about to come. This shit about to come through. That's why <laughs> the drops are supposed to. Have. I'm gonna see what the end result is, but I've been using that a lot. And uh, the last job. Yeah, on a Jamaican castaway wave. Jamaican castaway. Like yeah, that's that's good for your hair growth. Mm -hmm. mm. Like, you gotta drink too. more water too. Hydrate. Yeah. Of yeah, you're right. And well, look, uh, I'm gonna tell you, you can't see your hairline. It's chalk. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? You said you can't save that shit. Can't oh, the hairline? Oh no. Yeah. 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 Nah. Right. Mine's is on top. I'm like, look, man. No, that's what I'm saying. Like it. Like my barber was clowning me about that shit. I got hat. My shit healthy. I was. I mean, I'm just. I just fuck with hats. But um. Yeah, you got to make a cash the oil wave and it's fucking, um, what I say? Yeah, just making cash or you got to get your moisture. You can yeah. sit down, that's already a wrap. Phil. We're on the bear, bro. Get some bear. Just get the bear popping, right? Yes. Get the bear popping. I, I think, I think yeah. if the bear is popping, then I could just shave all of it off on top and then yeah. just yeah. fucking yeah. bear. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm big. Get so. those um, little, <laughs> get them um, lace, <laughs> them, um, male lace fronts to them guys. Yo, how you feel about that? Have you just seen the videos with Bobby? Why not? Listen, man. guys deserve what they do too. Yeah, they got wigs. Why not? They're right there, bro. All right. You might say you got hats. Fuck that. How you feel about that? Are you just like, look, get it how you live, fam? Like, my shit healthy. Like, my shit healthy. No, would you do it? No, I'm cool. Like I'm going, I'm going. Like I'm just going to get the right, man. Take the body? No, I ain't gonna get the body. I'm gonna get a number one. I'm getting the navy. You know I mean? <laughs> just straight. Navy, man. My shit. Y'all just got weight, man. Like I'm gonna bust out. You might see me. You know what I mean? I ain't getting no body no time soon. My shit. The one is yeah. Right. I'm saying the number one. Like that's my shit. Slight. Like my my shoulder can still run my shit. Feel hair type shit. But like. You mean body take a lot? Like the body is this is much of the way. Yeah, body is it's that's a lot, that's a lot of upkeep for body. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got body, like you, know, you mean you gotta do a lot of shit. You got, you got I'm cool though right now. Like I'm, there you I'm go. cool. Like, I'm growing my shit. I got a little little, little curly mm -hmm. nigga top right here. <laughs> for me, when that when that day come, I'm definitely gonna get them uh treads inserted. Dreads. Get the dry lace trying to fake Why you gotta see? And then ball it up in the joint like. Oh, you gonna do a man, man bun dreads? Listen, you heard? Why, why, why I go ball? I'm rocking sun visors on niggas. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I've been seeing them. Like, I get tired of wearing buckets in the winter time, but I'll be like, fuck it, I do the fuck I want. Like, sun visor shit. Stop your head when you sunburnt this shit. Yeah, that shit gonna be gleaming. That shit gonna be gleaming. Coconut oil on top of my shit. You hear me? Mm. Yeah, you right, you right. Uh, flattery, what does this shit say? Flattery will um, rule the day, rule the, today. rule tonight, go far tonight. There you go. Flattery. I did yoga this for the first night. time today, yo. How was that? That shit was crazy, yo. I noticed how much my mind think. Mm -hmm. How much my eyeballs was moving when they was closed. I don't know what that sound like. That sounds accurate. That sounds like <laughs> random eye movement. Oh, like yeah. That. Random eye, random eye. When you close your eyes and your eyeballs yeah, moving. Yeah, yeah. It matches your breathing pace and what's on your mind. So when I got closer to the end of my meditation, I did a 10 minute meditation. Like, you know what I mean? It's pure silence set, you know what I'm saying? And it's dark and shit. Mm -hmm. But um, when I got closer to the end, I was like, damn, I forgot about the time. That was my first time. Y'all ever heard of Century Deprivation? Oh, what like is that? Century deprivation tank is like basically like you float in the water. Oh, like, oh, shit. Yeah, oh, there's no sound, or nothing. The only thing you hear is your breathing. And it's like mm -hmm. up for your back. It's like salt water, sea salt. Oh, I'll say that's salt, salt water. Yeah, salt, salt water. water. Yeah, you yeah, you salt water. Yeah, you floating. Mm -hmm. This is weird. I can't swim, so it's like that's fucking rough. So you just like yeah. floating. And so do you like? You said you in the tank. Like yeah, is it just yeah, all black and you just floating? So you, like, you can uh, choose the you can choose the light. So it's like a light like this. It's typically you can give you like a ball. Or it's like a LED. It, they got they got tubes and they got tanks, so like you can like get. It's like a almost like a mini like pool, but with a top on it type shit. Like yeah, um, yeah. Like, it's like a bobsled. Like, like imagine like a bobsled yeah. with like a top on the shit. Yeah, type yeah. shit. Like and you just float. Like and that shit's for an hour though. So like that was my first time seeing, but that shit was kind of cool. You did the whole hour? Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't let my mind yeah. go, but I could not just yeah. clear my mind. Nah, you gotta be able to let that shit go, right? It takes, it takes, pre it takes practice. Too much. Kim did, Kim that's the best to part do of yoga a lot. Like, what, thinking too Kim? much? No, like, it, that's 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 the whole purpose of it. Because, like, damn, I wanna get out this joint, but it's like, you mean, you just 
Trying you just chilling. It's like the, the water warm and shit, and you can't feel nothing. You first you gotta figure out how to float, like cause it feel weird and shit. You might feel like mummy and shit, <laughs> crush and shit, you man. But like first you gotta figure out how you gonna float, and then like um you figuring out like all right, what's on my mind, and, like and then this is like blank. And the next thing you know, it's time to get out. It's like any meditation for real, for real. Yeah, shit. What made you want to do that? Um, it was something that like, I learned about. I was in LA for a video shoot just one time, and I, like, I had to leave. Like, I had to fly out the next day, so it was like mm -hmm. for my birthday. Um, this one year, I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna try it." It's like weird. Like, I had did that for the first time. I went to a strip club, like my OGs, like for the first time. So it was like weird as night. Like, I did that, and then went into that. But meditate before I throw these ones real quick. I ain't even throw. Yo, I don't even fuck with strip clubs like that. Whoa, like, whoa, whoa! I don't like. I do. I do for the entertainment of like just chilling. Like if I went to the strip club, I'm just going. We getting chicken wings, like. And it's chilling, like I don't yeah. even, like it's, it's no, it's, it's no, like I never been to borders. I'm not going dancing, dancing club, doing all the Jones all night, like. <laughs> and I'm definitely, like I don't want to say I don't fuck with the strip club. Let me change that, like. But it's just like for me, like I don't know. I don't fuck with clubs like that. Period. Like for, for I like parties, but like I don't really fuck with the clubs. But the strip club, like, I catch chicks up. Like, I'll be like this, like. I have a whole rack in my hand, but I just bought like I make I make the joint turn around and I bought the money up and like put it in there like and be like yo go ahead. But when she leaves, she don't know she only got yanked. But she she only put it in. You like shh. Yeah. Only been strip club once though. That's my first time. That's my last time. I'm my last time, but. It's a lot of different strip clubs. I like some nice That's an exercise. I don't go to the strippers. But bartenders get big more strippers nowadays, though. Oh, I was talking about really beefing. Yeah. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. That's the service. Why they not be, why they beefing? No, why do, why do bartenders get paid more than strippers? Because, 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 um. You mean they get tipped more? Yeah, but I mean, yeah, why? They look just as like, good I as mean, strippers. strippers. And they don't even have to take their clothes off. Strippers are actually doing work. You pouring drinks into into other drinks. That's that, what are you, a chemist? It's at a fast pace though. It's at a yeah, fast but then, pace. Yeah, but then you talk talking to some of these bartenders, they like, if somebody comes with too much of a complicated order, I won't fulfill it. Like if they give you, I was, I remember one uh, bartender well, was talking. Is your order at the club? One bartender was like talking. She was like, "Yeah, some guy asked for like some wild drink, and she was just like, no, 'No, I'm gonna give you this.' Yeah, and like, they don't, then we know how to make it though. That yeah, they, they just, are, they just you can't order pouring drinks into when drinks. You go to the strip club, like they're not gonna know how to properly. I can't say that because I mean, it probably, probably is some out there, yeah, but, but right. for the most part, they just. Got on nice jeans and Maybe then it's just easier to tip a bartender than a stripper. No, I think it's just more fast pace because you gotta think about it. If you're in a strip club, like you getting drinks, they wanna get drunk. If you're not buying a bottle, you you buying you, you buying a drink to go back to the platform. I thought it was the fact that you can actually talk to your bartender too. Like niggas be trying to pull game, pull game on them. They bartender. Right, that's that's work that's 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 and help play that game with you. Yeah. yeah. But strippers be talking too. At the end of the day, who gets paid more, the stripper or the bartender? Sometimes I, bartender, 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 I think depending on what stage you're in, I think it's the I bartender. I think it depends on what day. I think yeah, I think it's, the strippers might make three hundred dollars more than the, than the bartender, depending really? on the stripper. Yeah. yeah, I feel like they break out evenly, but then I feel like you know the strippers sometimes they got paid they got they got paid percentage, whereas the bartender gets a hundred percent tip. Mm -hmm. The stripper has to pay a base fee for dancing in that club. Yeah, and she got to right? Yeah, mm. that's what's like. I don't know. Yeah, that's like tough. A, that's like a, yeah. like a one of those things. I don't know. We gotta leave on the table. Mm. Tip y'all yeah. straight, y'all. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. Goddamn mm. right. I want to tell y'all. Y'all tipping y'all. I fuck with David. David. What y'all? What y'all like? We all like to eat in food. Eat at Oh <laughs> shit. If y'all like cooking at the crib. We all gonna eat. Damn, I cook at the crib way too much. <laughs> I, fuck, I don't even know, Kim. God damn. Oh, I went to. Uh, where did we go to the uh, to the other day? It was um. Oh, uh, Devon's. Yeah, it was really good. Devon's is good. Devon's is really good. That's one of my favorite seafoods. Yeah. Yeah, Devon's are really. Who good. Who got better biscuits, Devon's or Red Lobster? Red Lobster. Damn. Nah, come on, that's OG. Come on. I think you only saying that because the Red Lobster is Red Lobster. Then you like ah, Devin's ah, just ah. taste better. Ah, <laughs> my God! Here you go. Uh, I'm basic, uh, favorite food spots. Delisandro's off town. 
Of course, I'm basic. I'm telling you, bro. Shit, like, man. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm listen. When I when I get my check, I'm not cashing out on one will. I'm gonna have wills in every state, in every country that I go to, and it's gonna be American made muscle shit. I might bust down and get like me and get some Crown Vicks or some Lamborghini Doors for real, for real. But my point in that is like I like simple shit. So if you ever need a car and you somewhere, bro. I know you don't. Oh, that's your simple. Like, that's your simple go-to. No, uh, my simple go-to. I'm gonna have. Is American Muscle? Yeah, American Muscle, all the way around. I'm saying when you win, I know, I know, I can trust you with the will because you like. Oh yeah, I'm basic. Like you like simple shit. Yeah, and I was watching yeah, Netflix. Don't, 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 don't watch it. I was like, no, bro. You mean go, go grab that John? You in Texas? Go grab the, go grab that Apollo with it. You mean? Time, time. That's the go-to in Philly, though. What restaurants do you like to go to? I don't know. I'm like. I like drinking. I, like drinking. <laughs> I don't. Really, I, honestly, it's just bars and and. Uh, you fuck with the hood bars though. Uh, the hood bars are the best. Right. They got the best wings and shit like that. Like it's this place we go to on City Line. It's called it's called Bala Inn, but we call it Mom's. And the, yo, cause the lady in there, she like mom, like that's yeah, mom, like she she know she me by my everything. name and everything. Oh, she be in there. She might be so, so hit, bro. I'm gonna come clean. <laughs> yo, yo, look, mom, holla at me. Look, if she could cook wings after we done getting it in, yo, like the recipe. I'm cool is, with that. Like the we, recipe is fire. Her, her recipe is fuego. And I need one for the recipe. <laughs> yo, bro. Bro. I got to take one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mom, come holla at me. But like that, that honestly really might be one of my favorite places to go in the city. Right. Moms, you go there, you play pool on a broken ass pool table. That's lopsided. Oh, side though. We yeah. Like, I'm from uptown, so like, mm. I don't know, like, I don't got shit uptown, bro. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what's your, what's your, your right? uptown? We got Jamaican D's. Fire. What fire. restaurants are up there? I don't remember. Really everything, dog. Oh, Chef Beef. Everything. Oh. We got fucking. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that nigga be serving out his crib, bro. Chef <laughs> Beef, it's a fire flavor. We got relish. Yeah, we got relish. Yeah, yeah, dude. We got fire. We got we got a lot of fire. Fucking pizza spots. Good pizza spots. Good quality Which cheese. Mm. We got. Um, I'm like a foodie, food expert. Um, food mm. connoisseur. Um, we got Victoria's. You got. Um, see my man, cameraman, drop cameraman, funny as shit. He can't talk. He's just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bro. After the show, you be like, damn, like, you be like, trying to be throwing us off, like, you my man, but you can't even agree with me. That's my point, though. Yeah, <laughs> I keep going. I, I, I never want to be victorious, bro. You say, yeah, hey, I'm telling you. Okay, I'm telling you. Yeah. Why are you? Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, all right, all right. I'm telling you. Are you right on the way then? Um, What's your number one? The whole one, city. Uh, no, this one, this Number one, one in the whole city. I don't know, dog. I like to eat a lot of shit. I'm gonna come clean. Like Victoria's has amazing mac and cheese, but like we, I've been in this like whole controversy where it's like they got sometimes that shit. They might have a slight day. Like I don't. It depends on. Uh, we got. We got. I'm choosing Ron's over Jamaican D's if I'm uptown. Ron's. Yeah. What is that? Some Boy Street, right? <laughs> Mike, yeah. try, to, try, to Mike try to get the scoop. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah. Try to get the yeah. scoop. Making these, these give you a lot of quality, quantity, but they don't give quality. Like, no, nah. oh. like it's all this food for nothing. Right. Oh, oh, man. Man. Oh, man. It's important. No, I've had less food than quality. Yeah, so I'm, I'm fucking with Ryan's. I'm fucking with Ryan's, but I, I, I like to eat. I'm a skinny nigga, but I like to eat, so I can't just dial down. If I choose one restaurant, then I'm cooking like at the crib. Mm -hmm. Nobody gonna make it like I won't make it. Like, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. type shit. Right? I mean, look, what, what do we? Do we want to talk about one more topic? Yeah, let's do one more. more. And, and then, then uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about Nick Cannon, Brian, and Travis Scott? Man, I ain't heard it. For man. doing um, so Travis Scott is apparently doing the Super Bowl with um, oh yeah, yeah Big yeah. Boy. Yeah. So he gave Big Boy a pass. He says, uh, Big Boy, he's for the culture. He always been for the culture. But right. Travis, you don't have that. You, you, you don't have do that not culture. Not. So basically, like, he's saying Travis sold out during the Super Bowl. I feel, uh, like, uh, I feel like. But who says Nick Cannon has a say? Who the fuck me, Nick Cannon? <laughs> <Nick Hannon? laughs> <laughs> I always remember this. This is something I want y'all to quote me on. Like, nerds no culture. I mean, yeah, no, let me get that right. Nerds no no clout, not culture. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nerds mm -hmm. no clout, not culture. You know what I'm saying? Like, so a lot of people. Nerd in that. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's like, he's like not really yeah. no expression. I fuck with him though. He, yeah, he's I a G. No, he didn't like to go out and get the bag and oh, really he's for, a sure. Oh, for sure, for sure. Like, like all around, like, like he he definitely can. He, yeah. he did his thing as far as like our upbringing. Yeah, the kid had his hand in a lot of shit. 
But my, my point of view on that is, um, I, don't, I think Travis whooping the OG to do it with him was the right way to do it. Um, I especially agree. with it being in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Um, big boy, they, yeah, they, uh, Andre and uh, Big Boy is from, from ATL, so that was yeah, a great yeah, way to yeah, like yeah, that was a good, him being from Houston and then two down south spots like, yo, OG, like, come, you mean, come fuck with this y'all know real quick. Like, you already know they're gonna do that thing, they probably bring up more people or this that that whole collaboration. I feel like Travis Scott is another artist that's really hands on with his production, you know, how, how he wants things to flow and go. So, um, <clears throat> I don't think that was like too bad. The whole Super Bowl NFL shit, I think sports is sports, like. For real, for real, if you're back right, you can go buy a team. For real, for real, no matter which team it is, you can go buy a team. Like, you can't buy the Eagles or shit like that. But, man, we're going to go buy a, a, go buy the, I might buy the Jaguars. You guys are saying? Super Bowl on the phone. And you you with Cat, right? Or no? You're not fucking with Cat. They on the phone? I am. What, what is, are is, you taking the back? It's the no? NFL, bro. You want to do it or no? Like, like, uh, I don't even crazy. know the words to the national anthem. Don't know <laughs> Who's singing the anthem? So, you with Cat? You wouldn't do the show? Yeah, I'm doing the show as long as the Eagles <laughs> are there. As long as the Eagles is there. If the Eagles oh, are there, oh, there. Oh, that's the only time you're performing? I'm cool. I don't even like I'm cool. Like well, I don't I don't even wanna watch the game. I'm not high with the show. I don't wanna be there. I'm I don't even wanna be there. Like mm -hmm. fuck yeah. that's a tough spot. The Eagles are yeah. in, in the Super Bowl, I don't wanna uh, be there. Yeah, you feel me? I'd rather be I in the crib making some lamb chops. I don't think it's cool <laughs> for Nick Cannon to say, oh, so, all right, you look, get a pass, but you the, don't. That's the flip of this. Could Nick Cannon perform this year? Hell if no. Nick Cannon perform, how would they react? What would he perform? So uh, you mean, yeah, yeah, you're so right. There, you're right. There go the points. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I think. Uh, I, Yo, I don't know. Really we got toast up. We got to put the glasses as a drop. Like they have to air the glasses. glasses that's together. the clink, and that's the end of it, right? That's the end. All right, look, so, we can do that. Right. We can do that. I'm with, <laughs> creative. Huh? We can do that. Uh, I think. I think uh, Nick Cannon. I don't. I don't see why he's even commenting on something like that. Okay. I just think he, like I said, it's all the clout shit. You see somebody doing something. And you like, oh, I just wanna, I wanna put some forth, but I don't know I did, what to say. I like the Dame Dash interview with Nick Cannon. That was a, Dame, uh, Dame Dash or something? What is uh, the uncult, the culture zone, right? They no, um, with the he did a collaboration interview with um, with uh, Nick Cannon. That shit, he got some like John Paul. I don't, I don't forget. So they somebody interviewed Nick Cannon and Dame Dash together. No, they or Nick, Nick Cannon, Cannon interviewed Dame Dash. That um, yeah, he interviewed uh. Uh, Dame Dash. Oh. It was pretty cool. I think I, I, I like that Nick Cannon. He stands for his own shit, though, his own uh, opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I, I, I understand that. I, I get that. I understand it. But, like, when you start talking about other people and how they not doing something for the culture, this, that, and the third, it's mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? Like, don't. So, what y'all think about Stacey Dash? I like Stacey Dash. Stacey Dash. <laughs> Stacey <laughs> Dash. So, niggas are Listen. Clever. I ain't gonna hold you classic. Clueless is a classic. I was trying to think what it, Clueless is a classic. Yeah. I was trying. Yo, listen. I was at. I was at the point because of Clueless. I was at the point. I was at the point. Listen. I was at the point where I was like, in my head, I'm like trying to think of like uh, what affected the culture more, and I'm like, was it Clueless or it was, um, Devil Wears Prada? Uh, what affected the fashion culture more? All falls down, Kanye West. Oh, she died. Oh. She died. What? She that video? Oh, no, that, that, that was that was closet. I forget this shit sometimes. Like, no, that was it. That was it. Oh, hold on, man. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, that I ain't really watched too many Stacey Dash movies. Man. Yeah, I think they're. You ain't watch Clueless? No. Mm. Is that the joint with the cheerleaders? No. No. <laughs> What's that? Clueless is a good movie. You ain't watch Clueless either? No. Oh, no. It's before our time. Yo, it's what? not. You watch Double Edge Brother? No. no. You ain't watch that one? Nigga, you watch Pig and Fool? Of course! Yeah. Right. That's my favorite movie! I don't know. <laughs> 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 he knew it to any look. He went to the hoodest movie! He <laughs> thought I wasn't gonna see that! That nigga never seen Pig and Fool! Oh, no! Kim never seen Pig and Fool. Nah, right, I'm on your head. <laughs> nah, hey, you never seen Pig and Fool? Oh, Maybe I'll watch it tonight, because I'm tired of y'all talking about me not seeing these movies. Yeah. I'm watching Pay in Full, I'm watching Friday. There you go. Damn, How many, Friday? Never seen, never seen How Friday, many are there? Three? Oh, shit. Four? <laughs> Four of them. Total so reading. I think I but, did see Friday once, I just don't remember it. Yeah, it, it's a good movie. Yeah. It's a classic. Yeah. It's totally yeah. classic. Uh, hmm. I saw Belly. Really hit everything. Yes, oh, that's my right, favorite that's cool. movie. Alright, that's cool. That's tight. See? See? I'm like. 
Elliot or Payton Four? That's. Mm. Elliot or Payton Four? That's how we got it. You, you going with Payton Four or Billy? Payton Four. Payton Four. Belly. I'm going terrible. What? What? what Mike, what the fuck, Mike? That was the best part about it. The production. That's terrible. Bro. You're tripping. You're tripping. Explain to me the why, scenes why, and everything. Why? why? Yeah. Yeah. Belly, you saw an opening shot at that? Oh, why? Yeah, the opening shot and, and, and the opening shot. Oh, oh, why? Shot. Oh, and and like, shot. That might be the most like iconic. That really fire. might be the most iconic opening to a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, okay, maybe I'm saying. I'm paying for John was was up there. Mike just says things because he likes to debate. I do like the That's good. That's cool though. That's good. Mm-hmm. Payton Four had better actors. Better storyline. Better storyline. That's it. What else do you need for a movie? That's I'm it. We're paying for. I'm not against you. But I fuck with Belly too. I'm going to Africa. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Africa. No cash. That's one. It's crazy. December. We're going to Morocco and Mali. What? I'm going to see you next to the roots, huh? I just want to go there. I'm going to go everywhere this year. Yo, <laughs> Y'all going to go everywhere. Do it. Absolutely. Go get it. Y'all got your passport? Oh, no, no. We trying we try to make, make moves next. I'm playing off of that. We trying to make moves next. Did he put that law into effect yet, bro? Nah, yeah, no. You need your license now. Nah, I know. I ain't doing that. You need your passport to go to another country. I need that passport. Get the passport. We might have to go somewhere. We might have to do a podcast somewhere. Got to get my shit for bro. Listen, I'm right. Make sure you got your turtleneck and gold chain. Right? I'm going to rock and keep Smet style with the whole wild. You know what I mean? Oh, that oh, doesn't have a glass. Oh, you're going to use a bottle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Toast to the blue tape. Toast to the blue tape. This is aggressively passive. Yeah. Uh, we got a passive personality. It'll grow in. I'm going to thank that you're going to get Yeah, exactly. Why are you so excited? Why are you so excited? Because he clean. That was supposed to be the ending. We supposed to do the wild clothes out, bro. What are you doing? He said that was gonna be the ending of it. Was the clink? Damn, I'm sorry, it's not even genuine no more. Come on. Can we thank my man for coming through? We can thank you. You tried to sail off and everything? Damn. 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 Yeah, so like, so like, <laughs> we back, y'all. Uh, my and fault. We good. <laughs> part two. Apparently, I fucked up. Like my part fault. Two. <laughs> Niggas is attacking me. <laughs> Swipe balled up the, the, the fortune cookie. Yeah. Threw it at me, y'all. Like I'm, yeah. I'm like, I'm over here cahoots. Um. Take this is the official ending. <laughs> Can grab your bottle again. Keep, keep both of them in there. I want to thank Swipe for coming through. Uh, Appreciate you, bro. You know, he told us you got blue tape coming, so we already know. You, you heard it here first. We waiting, we waiting. We waiting, we waiting. Yeah, I'm so, going to listen to the party. So yeah, yep, we going to be there. Do you, yep, make, do you make women's clothes? Yeah, I make mean, everything. CougarCartel.BigCartel.com CougarCartel.BigCartel.com That's right. Where can we find you? Everywhere. <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> on Instagram. Where can we find you? Oh. Instagram. Give me your socials. You're going to say everywhere. Yeah, like that. <laughs> That's a good answer now. Okay. Instagram. <laughs> means visit yourswipe.net. That's Y-O-S-W-I-P.net. Um, yourswipe.net. Y-O-S-W-I-P-E.net. Don't forget to dial us Okay. Okay. Yo, yo, what's going on my shit, though? Um, all